Hey guys, it's Garrett. I wanted to come out and do a lighted knock review since lighted knocks are now legal in Oregon to hunt with for the first time ever. And I wanted to come out with a review to help everybody in Oregon that plans on using this year figure out which one they want to use without having to spend a bunch of money seeing which ones are good and which ones are bad. I'm going to do three company comparison here and I'm going to go with the Nocturnals, the Luminox, and the Knockouts, which I have experience shooting a bunch of them. Um, all three of them hundreds of times and I've got a really good grasp on which one I'm going to be using this year for hunting. Uh, I'm going to be using a size X which is 9 grain um, regular knock for Easton Access Arrows which is a way, regular way to knock is 9 grains. These ones are 20, 22, and 21 grain knocks. Now not very big difference and then I really um, that's kind of a wash in that category but I have some categories over here, brightness, reliability, weight, accuracy, and design of what I overall think about the knocks. And I pre-filled out my chart here so it just make it faster uh, to go through with you. So the Nocturnals for brightness, they take the cake um, over these two because they are just straight up the brightest. I've got one right here and I'll turn it on for you. Um, this is a, uh, knock, or, excuse me, a Nocturnal right here and that's how bright they are. And uh, you can see that that's really 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 bright. Now this is a uh, Luminoc and you can see uh, which one do you think is brighter and it's clearly this one right here that's why this one got first. These ones are just as bright as the knockouts but the knockouts um, weren't consistent in their brightness I found some that were pretty dim, some that were pretty bright, some that didn't even come on half the time and uh, that's why they take last in that category. Now reliability I've shot these uh, knockouts hundreds of hundreds of times. I use them um, all the time for practicing for that 325 yard shot we're going to do later this year and I use them for practice and and these are going to be the ones I use for hunting because they have came on and they've, they've, they've lit up every single shot. Not one failure out of I don't know how many hundreds of shots I've used them for. They come on every single time. That's 100% success. I've never had a, an issue with these knocks. These ones, um, it leaves a little air um, margin of error for the user because if he doesn't have this thing in here right, um, you can see I pushed that all the way down, it didn't come on. But if I twist it a little bit, right there, boom, it comes on. So then you uh, turn it off by pulling it back out and then boom, you push it back on. So you have to have this Luminoc in the right spot or else it won't go on. And I just don't like that because it, it leaves room for air. But once you have it in the right spot and you want to turn it on off, uh, off and on quickly, it does that. And then when you have it in the right spot, it will go off. I just don't like that there's that margin for error. If you don't check it before you shoot, um, you're not going to be happy when that sucker doesn't light off and you expect it to. Um, the, the knockouts weren't reliable. Um, I bought a bunch from a guy, um, a bunch, like 30 or 40 of them. And I ended, ended up selling like 15 of them because I just got tired of them not working. Uh, they, they wouldn't go off all the time. Half of them weren't bright, half of them were bright. And I just found that at, at best they were mediocre and they weren't they weren't near as bright as the nocturnals and if you're buying a light a lighted knock you're obviously going to try and get the lighted well, the brightest one you can um, because that kind of defeats the purpose if you can't see them then why buy them um, the weights are pretty much the same I haven't really noticed any difference between them dropping compared to a regular knock until I get out to about 120 yards and then I start noticing a little bit of an elevation I have to aim about that much higher um, at those longer elevations when I shoot at 325 yards, I've shot a, that distance with these two knocks, the Luminoc and the Nocturnals. They shoot about 15 yards short. I don't know why you would ever probably shoot that far, but if you want to shoot really long range, you're going to notice that you need to aim about another extra 10 yards of distance um, at those longer ranges. Now for accuracy, these two came in a tie because I haven't really noticed any, any different uh, groups between these two. I'm shooting extremely um, great with, with those knocks. I don't notice a difference between using regular knocks versus using these knocks. I mean if these knocks ran out of battery and you had no regular knocks, you could shoot just fine with these knocks and not have any issues with them. The accuracy is superb. There's no difference for me between a regular knock and these knocks, but there is an extra 10 to 11 grams, which the longer grains, at the longer distance you will notice your arrow dropping faster. Um, Accuracy with this one just wasn't there. I noticed that my groups, you know, it, let's say 60 yards, my groups like this, well, 60 yards, um, they, they'd actually end up being like that because some of them would drop down a little bit. I thought it might be me, shove a regular knock back in there, shoot, tighten back up, put the knockouts back in, they'd open up, and a lot of times there'd be a couple that were low, and I didn't like that. Um, so these two came in a tie, this one's in last place again. 
the design. Um, <clears throat> I like that this one's a single unit. This is the knockout. And uh, it's really, really, uh, really easy to install and really easy to use. You just take the knock, take your knock that's in there um, out, put this one in, line it up with your odd vein, and that is all you got to do. It's that easy. And it has a little button here in the crease of the knock that your string activates. And, and if you shoot it, it will go off. I have no doubt in my mind that these suckers will go off. Total, complete confidence in that product. And it's a really solid um, piece of plastic. Um, it's translucent. You can see um, really deep into the knock. And I think that's why it's actually brighter than the Luminock is because this is kind of a darker um, plastic or whatever they're using to make these knocks. It's not as translucent <clears throat> and it just doesn't show the light as well. And I think that's why they're not as bright. Uh, this design um, is the easiest one to change the battery if you had to change the battery on them. However, I drop these in water uh, without the arrow or anything. I just drop the, the nocturnals in water and let them sit there for a while, put it back in the arrow, shot it, it went off perfectly. With these ones, um, I, I feel that maybe if condensation or water happened to, to get to these knocks, I feel, hasn't happened yet, but I feel that it might affect it because the way the battery goes in there, um, it would it would affect it. And they're really easy to take out. I'll show you the battery. Um, the battery's right here, and there's a little uh, prod that goes into the actual knock itself connects to the light and then uh, then from there that's how you get your light and I feel like if this got water condensation or water in there or anything like that then it would might ruin the connection and I just don't feel good about how flimsy that is and I like I said I haven't had a problem with it but I just don't feel like the quality or the durability is there than with the uh, the, the nocturnal so um, the design uh, on the on the knockouts awesome I wish um, you know the the nocturnals were as easy to shut off they have a shut off switch um, where you have to put um, a sharp object into this little hole here and then you shut off the uh, the the light from there and it kind of gets old after you do it for a while in between strings you want to shut off the light and try and save as much battery as you can you turn it off like that the knockouts you just pull the knock out of itself and and it basically comes on and comes off but the design here you can use one knock with the knockouts it comes with three inserts that fit different types of arrows, so one knock will fit three different arrows, or, or more, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I don't like that the collar um, that puts it on practice in active mode is is loose when you when you switch it over, and that creates a buzzing sound intermittently between uh, well every shot on the ones that do it, 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 it will buzz, and it's a really loud buzz, and it's so noticeable. All the other guys at the range will look at you when you shoot. I promise you, it's that loud. And I didn't really care for it. Also, they just weren't bright, like I said before. Great design. Great that I, I love the fact that they have a practice mode. And I wish that the Nocturnal had a uh, practice mode as well. Um, but they don't. So maybe something to work for for them. But um, great design on the knockouts. But it just doesn't work very well. It's a great, it's very creative. But I, I just wouldn't trust them in a hunting situation. So for me... If I'm going to be hunting this year with the light of Nox, which I am, I'm using the uh, the Nocturnals because it's 100% um, activation. They're 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 very very reliable, very durable, very accurate Nox, and so is the uh, the Luminox. But the battery comes out, and I just don't like that. I feel like there's room for user error, and they're not as um, simple as the Nocturnals. I do like the fact that they do have an easy on and off, which is just Jimmy and the knock in and out. But um, again, uh, just not a solid design as the uh, Nocturnals. And then for as far as the knockouts, I think they have great customer service. I hear of a lot of guys that they have a faulty knock. They send them in. They get a good one back. They have great customer service. They take care of their customers. But the, the product quality and reliability just isn't there for someone like me that shoots every day or in a hunting situation I buy a knock I expect it to work and and I just don't get that um, peace of mind with that product so hopefully that helps hopefully you guys found this useful if I didn't have a nocturnal I would feel comfortable using a, an Illuminoc I would make sure it worked before I uh, actually shot it and I had it in the right position and I would not I just leave leave the knockouts on the shelf until they can come out with a better product or a better design um, just leave them on the shelf for now if you guys use one of these products and you totally just disagree with me 
use whatever you feel comfortable with. That's the most important thing. So if you go out in the woods with a knockout and you just believe in that sucker and you know it's going to go off and it works great for you and it's quiet and it's just not doing what I'm saying, then feel free to use that. Use what's best for you. It's all about having confidence out in the woods with your gear and just knowing that everything's going to work as designed when you shoot it. So hopefully you guys like that video. Hopefully the the uh, the review helped clear some uh, areas up for you. I know a lot of guys are going to be trying knocks out this year in Oregon because it's it's just became legal. And I wanted to save everybody some time. So give me a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And then feel free to share. Um, it would be awesome if we can get some more subscribers, build our community up a little bit. And then also take, I take suggestions for videos that you guys want to see. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day or night. And I'll see you on the next video.